Hello again, it's Dr. Jennifer Marte, one of the engineering lecturers, and this time I've been working on Key Studio's microbit car. So here's a picture of it from the box, but if you want to see it in person once it's been put together, here it is. So what we can see is that this car focuses on the micro bit, tiny little micro bit here. And let me tell you, I was so impressed with the amount of stuff this micro bit can do. It had temperature sensing, it could figure out tilt, it could do acceleration, it could listen in with the speaker, it could have touch interfaces, it had LEDs, it could do all sorts of things. And this little tiny piece. And when you went online, it had make code, uh, which was kind of like scratch that you could use to drag and drop what you wanted to do in here. So you didn't have to be an expert at programming, you just needed to be able to look for the different blocks, drag them into your screen and click the download button. This thing is amazing. First time I've used it, definitely a fan. So that is what's behind this car. So what can the car do? Um, similar to what the Arduino car that I was talking about last time could do. It can do line tracking and it was so much better at line tracking than the Arduino car was. We'll turn it on and it's doing its tracking now. So you can see it goes around the top really well and uh, it even navigates that part of the curve. It has the some ultrasound sensors up at the front so it can do object avoidance or object tracking. This could be the winning one. And it's made its way out. And these it has some multicolor LEDs on the front, which are quite a nice addition. The kids really loved it as well. And different LEDs that are down here on the bottom, four of them, that can turn this into basically a light show. One of the things I would say about this kit is when it came, uh, you are supposed to have two 18650 batteries. Again, I didn't have them. I tried to use different things in here. I couldn't get it to work. I'm not actually sure that this is ever connected to the rest of the car. But when I took this battery pack out of a different robot car from Key Studio and put in my um, extra batteries and plugged this into the seven to nine volts, everything was working in this car. So before I added this, um, most of this wasn't working. The micro bit would work when you plugged it into the computer, but the other features didn't work. Um, but with this, everything is going and well. So I would say the instructions on how to put this together were pretty good, although I would suggest reordering the way things were taught. I would suggest explaining some more about the micro bit before you just launch into it. Uh, and I've sent those comments to Key Studio, so they may have already made those changes in later kits. Um, and the code were, was available, so the make code was available as hex files. I didn't use the files that they had. I made them myself, dragging and dropping the blocks so I could learn where they were. With the exception of the last one, which was about the app. And I did download the app hex file and import that directly rather than you know, dragging and dropping everything myself. And on the screen right now, this is the hex file that makes the car go with the app, that last hex file. Uh, and as you can see, it's quite a long and involved file, I suppose, as you would expect. But this is why I just downloaded it instead of trying to drag and drop it myself. The codes that were available were in general correct, um, with the exception of the infrared remote control here. Um, the code said to use pen 9, I think it was. Uh, well, the code uses pen 9 and it said to use pen 0. It is pen 0, so make sure you make that change before you upload it, otherwise the infrared remote control won't work. But in general, I was very pleased with this project. It can do loads of stuff. Again, it was my first introduction to Microbit, which I am a sold fan on. Uh, I enjoyed doing it. My kids enjoyed doing it. Nice little project I'm planning on showing in our science festival coming up next month. So I definitely recommend going ahead and getting one of these.